Welcome to the first ever Wingnuts Hoopla on WichitaWingnuts.com. I'm Casey Walkup, joined by manager Kevin Hooper. And each week, Kevin and I will join you here on the website and just talk about Wingnuts baseball. Kevin comes in in his second year as the manager of the Wichita Wingnuts after playing in the inaugural season for the Nuts. And Kevin, what did you learn last year that might help you lead into season two? Well, being my first year manager, you, you learn a lot. Definitely, you know, whether it was the first meeting at home play, making that lineup card, all that stuff. But uh, you also learn, you know, how to manage guys. I mean, that's the, the toughest part for me is i got to find a way to manage 22 guys. And they're not all going to be the same. You find find a way that, you know, you can tweak each, each one of them individuals. And, and they are individuals, which makes them unique. And uh, I'm looking forward to my second season getting going. Season two starts with spring training, May 1st, coming up this Saturday. And uh, just kind of talk about that a little bit. Yeah, we're all excited. You know, a lot of the guys are here uh, working out and stuff, and we can't wait for Saturday to come. Hopefully the weather's going to hold up and, and be able to, uh, because those first couple days are important to get in our bunt defenses, you know, our defensive work and, and the inner squad because we got to see guys. Wingnuts have a lot of familiar faces coming back. Just touch on a few of those. Yeah, Chris Colton's coming back, you know, who was a fan favorite I know in 2008, center fielder that, you know, can run down everything in the outfield for us. And he's going to be, he's a veteran for us this year. and. Uh, He's going to be huge. Chris is the guy I know what I'm going to get every day on the field and off the field in the clubhouse. He's a great leader. Also got some guys like Mike Thompson and Stephen Pearson, some names you might uh, be familiar with. Some new faces as well. Yeah, new catcher this year, Jeff Christie, who uh, lives outside of Great Bend, played at Barton County Community College, then went up to the University of Nebraska and has been in double AA, triple A with the Twins the last couple years. Lots of new faces. You know, We're going to have some new faces that I hope are going to excite the fans. Spring training for the American Association is not quite like affiliated baseball. They typically have a month and a half to work out. You guys get 12 days. What do you accomplish in those 12 it's days? It's tough, you know, because we have to see guys. We have 27 guys coming to camp and 22 of them make the roster. So five guys aren't going to end up making our team and, you know, we uh, try to find them other places to play. Opening day for the Wingnuts is May 13th in St. Paul. They'll have three exhibition games held here in Wichita at Lawrence Dumont Stadium. One on May 4th against Emporia State and then again on May 8th and 9th against the Kansas City T-Bones. Kev, talk about what you try to do for during those games. We evaluate, bottom line, you know, whether it's where it's playing those exhibition games or whether we're inter-squadding out there every day, uh, we have to evaluate as a staff, you know, and we're, we're taking our 22 best, bottom line, and I'll say that in my meeting, you know, you take your 22 best guys who I feel are going to, you know, help us win the most ball games this season. All exhibition games will be a $7 general mission ticket. There's no pre-sale for those. You can purchase those at the stadium when you walk in the door. If you want season tickets this season, you can call 264-NUTS or 264-6887 to book your season ticket packages or for your groups. And Kevin, having fans in the stands has got to be a great, great impact for you guys. No doubt about it. I know we averaged close to 3,500 last year, and I, I tell everybody around here I'd like to get over 4,000 average. You know, that'd be great. It's a great venue for us here in Wichita. We have a great fan base, and uh, I think it can just get bigger and better. And last year, the home field advantage was very good for you guys, so fans, come out and support the Wingnuts this season. There's some, also some renovations going on around Lawrence Dumont Stadium that will make, make the fan experience just that much better this season. We have concession stand renovations that are expected to be done for opening day, as well as a brand new video board that is 48 feet wide by 16 feet tall. Can I just talk about some of those amenities? Yeah, it should be fun. You know, I know, you know, concessions, that's a big deal for the fans. Obviously, I don't get to see that stuff, but, uh, you know, they're renovating all the concessions, and that video board sounds like it's going to be a very nice, you know, addition, and it's going to give fans a different feature where they can see, you know, some replays more maybe, and uh, I know we're going to have the lineup and the guys' stats up there at all times. So, uh, two great additions, and uh, yeah, that's just going to continue. A couple other notes for the 2010 Wingnut season. 93.5 FM KWME is the new home for Wingnuts baseball on the radio. You can also find the Wichita Wingnuts on Facebook and Twitter. Just search Wichita Wingnuts. This is week one. We'll wrap it up. For Kevin Hooper, I'm Casey Walkup. And remember, if you're going to go, go nuts.